So yeah, that shows you <clears throat> how quickly a um, uh, a tank can get into dungeons. Oh, Greetings. no, we're gone. Ugh. Daylight's burning. <clears throat> So Namragon is a really huge dungeon, um, but you don't have to do all of it. Um, why am I still in combat? Oh, oops. So you come over here and uh, so he actually gives you a parachute, so you can actually just jump, and uh, and you'll float down. Uh, oh, and I missed. So vicious fallout is right here. I'm out of range. I need to get closer. They so constantly uh, poison you. called uh, Toxic Volley. <clears throat> oh. But the good thing about a Paladin tank is even if you get adds uh, while you're killing a boss, your shield will bounce and kill, uh, kill them pretty effectively. Aggro, Donna. Yeah. Ta da! All right. Ooh. That is a really good upgrade. Excellent. I don't have a target. So you want to come over here and uh, can I help you? Be Barakus. All right. So we're actually uh, killing stuff for the horde down Off here. So. Away. Or no, wait, no, those are those are dumps. No. Can't I can't I, I can't see. Target. I can't see. Lay down. Thank you. <laughs> well, now I can't see my hot bars. Oh. Well. Cat, you are first. absolutely infuriating. You always want to kill those little, uh, those guys uh, very quickly. I don't have a target.
Wow, this guy is... Wow, he was having none of my taunt. Well, I didn't use my taunt, but... Pick the perfect time in the perfect spot. But at least she's not like trying to climb on me. So if you get <clears throat> if you did get too close to the edge of that little thing, like you'll actually pull uh, other mobs uh, from that ramp area. <clears throat> I need a target. So usually there'll be like one elite and it's too far away i'm out of range uh one elite and uh then like a bunch of little guys so kind of want to make your way around this area. It's too far away. I need to target something. First. Yeah, I'm just kind of spamming my buttons because uh, she's she's laying in front of my computer screen. <laughs> I can't attack that target. Oh, you could attack it if you wanted to, Radis. You're just being a jerk. To range. I don't have a target. All right, so then you come up here to this middle area, to the Electrocutioner 6000. Electric justice. Basically, yeah, I'm I'm doing a lot better on holding aggro. The priest, uh, oh, it's a shadow priest. No wonder. I'm like, why is the priest getting so much aggro? So, um, in vanilla, uh, Nomragon, uh, before like the shortcuts and stuff were added. Um, Come on, you gonna heal me or not? Oh, apparently not. Not enough mana. All right, so we got the workshop key, uh, but you can actually grab another parachute over here. Maybe. Oh, 
I need to get closer. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like, why can't I? Why couldn't I use my? Yeah, okay, we're all down here. <clears throat> but anyway, in vanilla, um, this dungeon, it would take you probably, with a group that even kind of knew what they were doing, it would take you about two to three hours to do the whole thing. Um, because this is only basically like the very tip end of it. Oh, whoop. That's... Mm, interesting. Right. <clears throat> and this area right here was usually the bane of everyone's dungeon run. Because uh, if you were even slightly underleveled, I'll show you a little spot that wiped my group so many times when we first started coming here. Uh, I need a target. So these Dark Iron, even though uh, they're an allied race, they're still kind of... Um, so you always want to... you wanted to stay really close to the edge here. I don't think it's quite an issue anymore. Um, but if you had somebody in your group that uh, was a little bit low level, and they came through this door, if you came down uh, the other way, um, Like, you could aggro pretty much everything in the uh, uh, the lower level there on the right-hand side. And, uh, yeah, that was not good. I haven't collected that These nullifiers, um, uh, they actually can block specific, um, yeah, see, he's got a, a damage shield, and it's just reflecting magic back on me. So, when he does that, you kind of want to slow down. Uh, you have to be really aware, and that's one thing about being a tank is, um, you have to really, really be aware of, um, um, like what's going on with um, the various mobs and like what their abilities are and um, and kind of notice uh, if something's changed or if they get if they get like a damage shield. So. I don't have a time. All right, so his shield went away. Vampire touch. Oh, that's that was a debuff. shield it's got such a huge range on it I love it yeah so that had a damage shield and it really cut down on my damage output And 
there is occasionally a special uh, rare mob that'll spawn down there. So you always want to keep your um, consecration going uh, because even if you uh, lose aggro uh, like through a confusion or a stun, it'll still keep hitting them, uh, hitting the boss, and uh, and you'll like still be accumulating threat on them. So. So our uh, our monk is. Are the future. They'll destroy you all. I need a target. Yeah, you want to. Uh... More explosions. <laughs> If you're a DPS in this fight, um, something that you can really do to help everybody out is uh, keeping an eye out for these walking bombs. And uh, oh wow, that was close. Um, and kill those before they grab. Ooh, a charged gear. Nice. All right. Ooh, that charged gear is very nice. Excellent. And we got Divine Protection, uh, which comes in quite handy. <clears throat> That's um, So your Divine Shield is a complete damage mitigation and you lose threat. But your Protection is just a damage reducer. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'd love for you to come aboard as a full G-Team Commando, but our bylaws specifically prohibit poor team members. However, I can enroll you in the G-Team Fan Club. Yay! Uh... All right, so we'll grab the G team belt. You have a great day which is now. Nice. Uh, we got a good chunk of it. Oh, we actually leveled up. Excellent. All right, so we got two upgrades, on another level, and uh, yeah, so that was a great run. And that only took uh, just under twenty minutes again. So. <clears throat> But yeah, Nomragon hated it. Oh gosh, whenever you hit like level, I want to say like level 30, and that was the dungeon that you had to go to to get like appropriate level gear, uh, people just, oh, they hated it. They hated it because it was um, so remote. Well, it wasn't remote for Alliance because it right, it's right there next to... Um, um, Iron Forge, so. But a lot of the gear that was in there, I mean, it's really good. Um, Alright, so I'm only going to keep uh, what I've not. So I'm going to put that in the auction house. Anything that I've not um, um, got the appearance for uh, Briarthorn, we'll put that in the auction house as well. So we got a cloak out of our bag, uh, which is not really going to help us too much. So we'll we'll equip that to grab that appearance. Not sure what we need that for anymore. Alright, so that is a dull. pretty good little um, dungeon run. Uh, so we'll, we'll equip that and grab that appearance. And we'll equip that and grab that appearance. Get the 
big uh, the big mallet there. There we go. What do you need? Put that wool up. Wow, well, I only got like two silk in that whole run, really. Be safe. So I hope you guys enjoyed that run of Nomergon. That actually went really smooth. Uh, I've been into in some not so great dungeon runs. So, uh, all right. So I'm gonna go on and uh, call that a video, and I will see you guys back here. And we will probably go on and queue up for another dungeon. Um, I would love to be able to get into maybe a Marauding run. Uh, or Scarlet Hall, Scarlet Mount Monastery. Um, so, but yeah, we'll we'll do that, and I'll see you guys back here in just a minute. Thanks for watching.